Hey guys, welcome back to Hollow Knight. We're still here in Deep Nest, and I'm going to be heading over to the west, to the Beast's Den, to uh, to find uh, one of the Dreamers and uh, take him out. Uh, there's quite a lot to explore still. Another uh, a Dream Boss fight. Oops. Let's see if I can take out one of those uh, creatures and see what else is around here. We've got a lot of these... Um, these worms coming down now as well. Oops, there goes my uh, lifeblood. But um, I'm still getting a little bit of uh, geo for killing those creatures. Just going to drop down and have a quick look around here. This opens, I think, one of the gates up above. Oh no, it opens the gate over here. Uh, where does this lead to? I really should use the uh, the automatic geo collector. Uh, another gate here, which opens another lever here, which opens this gate here. There is a lifeblood cocoon up here somewhere, but I haven't. Oh, it's up here. Okay, here it is. Fantastic. Right, let's go and grab uh, all of this lifeblood here. We should get three extra hearts, or is it just two? Looks like it's just two this time, unless one dropped down. So it's in this area here where we find the. Oop. Uh, where we find the other uh, tram pass. Uh, so finally, I will be able to uh, ride around uh, on the tram system. Our uh, tram pass is just down here. Let's go and pick this up, and then I'm going to head back to the. Uh, head back to uh, to the bench to rest for a bit, and uh, then see if I can take on the uh, the dream boss uh, in this area. So let's just quickly jump up here. Nope, can't quite get up there. Okay, so let's have a short uh, rest here. Uh, now I'm going to head down and uh, see if I can explore the rest of Deep Nest. It's a fairly difficult area to explore. There's all of these little caverns and things. Um, I just want to drop down to the left. No, I'm in the wrong spot. I need to head across uh, through that uh, the tram uh, entrance first. Uh, the entrance into the tramway over here. Uh, and then I'm going to drop down. Uh, now this is a fairly tricky uh, boss fight, so I'm going to get a, a little bit of extra lifeblood before I, I challenge this guy. There is another lifeblood cocoon. <clears throat> I could theoretically go and get the the first lifeblood cocoon as well for an, for another two uh, lifeblood, but I'm just going to grab this one. I'm pretty sure this one gives you three. Oh, that one gave me two as well. I thought they did give you three. Anyway, that's okay. Let's uh, let's drop down and see what this guy has to say. Galleon. Let's test our strength in joyful combat. Okay. Unfortunately, the side starts spinning before I get a chance to attack. So fast. Uh, 
Oh gosh. No, he's gonna kill me. Oh my god, this guy's uh He's tough to to defeat. Okay, so that did give me three hearts. I must have missed one the first time around. Uh, let's just go and take him out. I'm at a bit of a disadvantage this disadvantage this time because I don't have the extra uh, spirit. Oh, you just can't get away from this thing. God, just Keeps dodging. Oh, there we go. Got him. Whew. Okay, fantastic. We beat Galien. Let's have a listen to what he has to say. And now he is going to give us 200 essence. So we'll need to go back to the Seer at some stage and uh, get my rewards. I'm going to heal up a little bit. I'm wondering whether I should go back to the bench just to heal up completely or just continue on. I think I might continue on and just hope that I um, can, can heal up before going into the beast's den. Okay, that did not help. Forget these guys. I think another one dropped down here somewhere. Gosh. The Defender's Crest helps with uh, attacking these guys. Oops. Okay, I'm just going to heal up a little bit. I think I'm going to be okay for health. Secret there it doesn't seem to. Oh, okay. You can bypass the uh, that creature there. There is a little secret. Um, okay. Um, yeah. The other difficult thing about this area is that there aren't any benches anywhere around here, so um, it makes things a little bit, a little bit. Oh gosh, where did you come from? Oh, no, no. Ugh. 
Um, no, what am I doing? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, this game. There we go. <clears throat> This is a, uh, it is a hard game. There's, there's no doubt about it. Um, there is a grub around here as well. I just have to try and remember where exactly he is. Um, because I haven't mapped this area either. Oh, God. Okay, that's, I don't, re don't really care about the rancid eggs. Oh, hello. Oh, I thought he was dead. Did, did he not drop the Geo? There must have been a Geo cluster there. I, I saw the Geo and, and thought I'd killed him. But I think there was a Geo cluster there as well. Okay, I'm down the bottom here. Let's just get a little bit more spirit. I'm just going to take this slowly. Patience is the name of the game. Well, it's not the name of the game, but it definitely helps. I might as well pick up this. I wish I could sell these rancid eggs. Uh, because I very rarely use them. Uh, now, let's go and find this grub. There's a grub here. There's also the Weaver's Den uh, in this area. Oh, he's still got me. Oh my god. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh gosh. I'm trying to stay alive here <laughs> without having to go back to the bench. Okay, beautiful. So I think we're going to have to run around to grab the um, the grub. Looks like there's some light. I'm sure there's something here. Oh, there we go. So, okay. Um, now I only have three health. I'm not exactly sure I want to go into the Weaver's Den with only three health, but I'm going to give it a go. Now there's a, a charm here that I'm looking for. There's a rancid egg down below, I think. Um, I'm not going to bother with that. One of these creatures. Just going to wait for him to come back down. Patience. Patience is a virtue. Right. Oh, gosh. Okay, so we have the uh, the Weaver song. I'm not exactly sure what that does. Let's go and have a quick look. Summons Weaverlings to give the Lonely Bearer some companionship and protection. Okay. Fantastic. Now that's... That's all I need... need oh, that's all I need from this area. Now there is the Grub to rescue somewhere around here as well. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, I need to go up further. Let's go and take out this little spider here just so I can get some uh, extra spirit here and, and hopefully heal back up to full. That would be fantastic. <clears throat> get a few more geo along the way as well. Uh, how do I get to this grub? I've forgotten.
Oh, now I really wish I had the um, this this path mapped out, so I could. Oh gosh, so I could see exactly where I'm where I'm going. Pretty sure I'm heading in the wrong direction here. Oh gosh, wrong button. How do I get to this scrub? That is the question. And uh, I've forgotten, forgotten the answer. Might as well grab the extra spirit there as well. Oh gosh. Uh, yeah, I think this is the path to the grub actually. So I need to drop down here and then sp sprint across. This is not the path to the um, to the grub, is it? I think this is the path up to to Queen's Gardens. Um, there is a there is a mask maker here as well, uh, but there's not much you can. Oh my God! What am I doing? They make the spikes just um, too large to jump across when you hit your head. <laughs> By design, I'm sure. Yeah, this is the, uh, I think it's the mask maker over here. We might as well go and have a chat with him. Now that we found him. Uh, if we continue up, then um, I'll head back up into, uh, well, into one of the entrances to, to Queen's Garden uh, over here. But um, I'm not exactly sure if you can reach the Queen's Garden uh, from this area here. Uh, but what I was doing was uh, trying to find the, uh, the grub. Okay, I hear the grub around. Oh, there he is, there. Fantastic. It's gonna drop, isn't it? Okay, beautiful. Okay, so now I can head back uh, in this direction. <clears throat> and uh, make my way to the, uh, the beast's den. I might as well pick up um, a little bit of essence along the way. I'm not going to bother collecting it all, but um, I will grab uh, what I can what I can easily easily find I 
Okay, so this path leads across to the beast's den. There isn't a boss fight, but it is a fairly difficult area. Uh, it's very easy to get lost in as well. And uh, this is where we find the um, uh, the first or second dreamer. <clears throat> I haven't actually been to the, uh, the Watcher's Spire yet uh, to take out uh, the first dreamer that you would ordinarily come across. Um, before I go there, I do actually want the, the Shade Cloak just to make the, uh, the boss fight there a little bit easier against the, uh, the Watcher Knights. Oh, they're, they're <laughs> of course there's spikes at the bottom of that drop. Of course there are. Let's um, grab the Geo, drop down, dash. Oh god. Maybe I should just do this. Okay, there is a stag station up above. Uh, this is the uh, the distant village. Uh, this is where we're going to find uh, the beast's uh, den. Unfortunately, at the stag station, there isn't a bench. Uh, the bench is all uh, broken down. Um, so there's the beast's den in there. Let's just go to the stag station uh, first of all. Just unlock that. Uh, as you can see, the bench is broken, so I can't use that, but I will unlock this uh, toll machine here to open the, the gates to the stag uh, station. I think there's just one more stag station that I need to find before we can um, be taken to the, uh, the stag nest. He will eventually remember where the stag nest is located. Oh, he knows that I have the uh, the stag part, uh, the the tram pass. No, he do he doesn't like this place. Yeah, the last stag station I think is in uh, Queen Station, and then we will unlock the uh, the stag nest. Okay, I don't have a lot of health, but I'm gonna head in anyway. There are a few little uh, creatures in here. Uh, they will let us rest, but... As you can see, it all looks a little bit ominous. They all want me to, to sit down. So, obviously it's a trap. Can't, can't move. I can't get out. Ugh. Come on. There we go. Okay, so I've made it into the beast den. There are two things that I want to find here apart from the dreamer. Uh, there's a grub here. There's also a uh, a charm hidden somewhere in here as well. And I haven't mapped this whole place out, so I'm not exactly sure where they are located. I'm just going to get a little bit of spirit first of all. What is this? Oh, the Hell in a Seal. Yeah, the Hell in a Seal. Sorry, there wasn't a charm. That's what I was looking for. Uh, so there's one grub uh, hidden in here somewhere as well. And I want to grab that before going to the Dreamer and uh, making my escape. It's kind of a horrible place to be stuck. Oh gosh, he tricked me into thinking he was going to open and then he didn't. It is easier to kill those guys if you have the Defender's Crest because they will take damage when you're just standing next to them. Um, but otherwise, just... Oh, didn't see that guy. Otherwise, just a little bit of patience. And uh, they're not too difficult to get past. 
Just gonna head across this way for now. Here's the beating heart of a rancid egg, which I, I'm not really interested in. Take me back the way I came, or is that something new? There is something new over here. Oh, there it is there, the rancid egg. It's not really what I wanted to find. Let me just see if there's another path. Oh, there is another path over here as well. Could it be the grub? No, just a few geo. Well, that always comes in handy. Uh, okay, so let's head up here now. <clears throat> Ah, I hear the grub. He must... Oh, he must be close. He's, he's, he's nearby. I can't see him, though. Is he down here? Oh, there he is. Hello. Okay, we've rescued the little grub. Um, found the Hallowness Seal and the Rancid Egg. The last thing uh, I need to find is the uh, the Dreamer. Uh, and then, of course, I need to find my way out of here as well. Looks like we can drop down from the top. There's another Geo cluster up there as well. Ah, here we go. We have found the Dreamer. Let's go and have a look. A sleeping figure lays atop the stone plinth. Okay, so that is the first dreamer that I've defeated. Uh, let's get out of here now. Luckily, I do get to, to rest up. The way out of the, uh, the beast den is just to head to the left and then down. And um, just go left and uh, down as far as you can. You will have to go right a little bit, but um, yeah, that should lead to uh, a bench here where you can rest and then drop down to the, the entrance of the beast's den. So... Whew, fantastic. A lot of exploring. Um, I guess I could make my way back just by dropping down to the bottom of the beast den and then back up around. Uh, I don't think there's anything too interesting there. There's no pickups or anything like that as far as I can remember. Let's just drop all the way down. There may be a secret path on the wall over there to the left about halfway down. I think I saw something, an, an opening there, but I'm not sure if that's, if that's correct or not. All right, let's get out of this place. Oh! <laughs> 
Okay, oh gosh, didn't see that one coming. Okay, so I've made my way back. What I'm going to do is just end the episode here. I'll make my way back to... Well, I should probably go back to the stag station, actually. And um, then figure out where I'm going from there. I think I'm going to be heading over to Kingdom's Edge. I know I said I was going to go to the Queen's Gardens, but... Um, uh, the boss fight in the Queen's Gardens, uh, to access the boss fight, you do need the, the Shade Cloak. So I may go to Kingdom's Edge and then the Abyss to get the Shade Cloak and then over to Queen's Gardens later. But uh, that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again soon for Hollow Knight.